According to science, there are three types of female orgasms. New research has found that female orgasms fall into three categories, wave, avalanche and volcano here's what you need to know about each category. Few things continue to be shrouded in an aura of mystery quite like the female orgasm. While more and more research into the field serves to uncover new truths while debunking myths, and helping to appease those struggling to climax themselves or achieve one with a partner. The fact remains that there is a significant disparity between what we know about the male orgasm compared to the female. It's hardly surprising then. That women face an orgasm gap with studies finding heterosexual women are the demographic having the least orgasms during sex not least due to a lack of understanding. When it comes to female anatomy and the vulva dot but as scientists continue to do important work in the field to see such a gap close, new research has found that there are three types of female orgasm. A wave, an avalanche, and a volcano. The research, conducted by Charles University in Prague, has sought to provide greater insight into just what each category of orgasm means and what those experiencing it can expect. According to the researchers, a wave is much like it sounds, encapsulating a short burst of pelvic contractions and release of tension. A volcano involves something more attuned to an explosion, with the pelvic floor tension swiftly releasing. Then Therese the avalanche, which refers to higher pelvic floor contractions that decrease during and after orgasm. 54 women were involved in the study, which asked them to use a Bluetooth-connected vibrator, the lioness. This vibrator has two sensors which detect the force of pelvic floor contractions, so that these patterns can then be analyzed. Thanks to pelvic floor contractions, the different types of orgasm were able to be identified and analyzed as each gives off a unique pattern of contraction. The women who participated in the study were asked to then masturbate at home using the device over a few days. Wave orgasms were found to be the most common, with 26 women experiencing it, while 17 had an avalanche orgasm and 11 had a volcano orgasm. According to James Faust, a professor of neuroscience at Charles University, who led the study, the idea behind it came from a book first released in 1966. In human sexual response, a research team led by William H. Masters and Virginia E. Johnson found three patterns of sexual response in women. We are doing a long-term study of women using the lioness to see how these different patterns are experienced subjectively as orgasms. As levels of pleasure and where the stimulation that induces them largely comes from, he said. In a way, this makes sense. These are adult women who have experienced orgasms many times before and, like riding a bike or swimming. There are motor patterns that have become crystallized through experience to be associated with it. While it presents an interesting breakthrough in the female orgasm, somatic, Sexologist Stella Anna Sunnenbaum tells Cosmopolitan that narrow definitions of women's sexual pleasure can be reductionist and we shouldn't be so narrow-minded. As a sex educator, what I'm teaching is involving as much of the body as possible in sexual arousal, and also letting go of the genital focus. It seems shallow to define the quality of orgasms simply via pelvic floor contractions, There are more than a hundred different kinds of female orgasms, and a lot of them don't even involve the genitals that much. Self-pleasuring is a great way to find out about our own pleasure, but partner interaction is not mentioned here at all.